The Japanese side has too often issued irresponsible remarks to smear China's normal military and maritime activities, interferes in China's internal affairs and inside regional division and confrontation. This is not constructive at all. I want to stress China follows the path of peaceful development and a national defense policy that is defensive in nature. China and Russian military cooperation is in line with international law and international practice is not targets any specific country. Taiwan is China's territory, a sacred territory that uh, cannot be split, and the Taiwan question is China's internal affairs that brooks no foreign interference. Japan has connived at its right-wing forces' provocations in the East China Sea and even roped in external forces to engage in the region and even collude with the U.S. to flex muscles in the South China Sea. This is the biggest challenge to regional peace and stability. Japan has portrayed itself as a victim of nuclear weapons, but even in the meantime pursued the protection of the nuclear umbrella of the U.S. and even obstructed the U.S. In giving up the no first use policy and pursue nuclear sharing with the US. Its position is hypocritical and self contradictory. China and Japan are close neighbors and important countries in the region. We hope to develop friendly cooperation that is in line with our people's interests. We hope that Japan will abide by the four political principles, the, the principles in the four political documents, and look at China's development in an objective light and stop making troubles in the region and to ensuring the steady growth of our relations in the right track.